Well hello folks and welcome to another video. Do you want to take a look at what I bought way back in the January sales? Then stay tuned. So guys, this is what we bought. The Canon EOS M50 Twin Lens Kit. Now before we actually take a look at the camera, I just want to point out that this is not going to be a review of all the techs and the specs, but we're just going to take an overview of the camera and uh, why I bought it and what I'm going to use it for. So folks, the Canon M50 is a mirrorless type camera with a 24 megapixel APS-C type sensor has a 1.5 crop factor and has Canon's excellent dual pixel autofocus. Now on the video side of things it shoots at full HD at up to 60 frames per second. It also shoots in 4K but when you're in 4K you get a two times crop factor and you also lose the dual pixel autofocus. Now on the camera side of things it has all the usual suspects that most modern cameras have it has aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, and it also has a program mode. Now the lenses that come with the kit, you get a 15 to 45 f3.5 to f6.3 lens and a 55 to 200 mil f4.5 to 6.3 lens. So folks, what we're gonna do now is take a tour around the camera. So guys, before we actually take a look at the camera, there's a couple of things that I just wanted to point out. Now the camera has two different menu settings if you like. It has a simplified menu setting and a, a, a full menu setting. Now in the simplified menu setting that's really designed at uh, newcomers and uh, newbies to photography and basically what it does it just allows you to get out and take pictures and videos uh, without worrying too much about the, the in-depth settings of the camera. Uh, but what it does do, it doesn't allow you access to certain um, settings of the camera until you go into the full menu setting. So if you're a beginner to photography and videography, then I would leave it in the simplified menu setting until you sort of learn your way around uh, sort of the photographic art, if you like. Then switch, up, switch over into the full menu settings and then that gives you access to a lot of other things. And uh, the other thing I want to point out is that uh, all my other photographic gear is, is Nikon, so uh, I'm not at all familiar with anything Canon do and any of their menu settings. So uh, this is sort of a bit of a learning curve for me, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me guys. So folks, we're going to take a look at the top of the camera first of all. So, what we've got here, this here is the on and off button, if you just slide forward and back, and that turns the camera on and off. On the top here, this is your mode dial, I suppose, or your input dial. So you've got uh, manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and a program mode, and also there, obviously, if you want to go into the, the video mode. Now, Canon do things slightly different to uh, what I'm used to. Now, on the Nikon cameras, it's uh, SP for shutter priority. Uh, on the Nikon, on uh, the Canon, sorry, it's TV which is timed value, which is shutter priority. And uh, for aperture priority, it's AV, which is aperture value. And obviously the manual speaks for itself. That's the shutter trip button. And that is the video on and off. Now you can actually configure that uh, to be tripped or switched on and off uh, using the, the shutter release button, which I've done so. So that's basically on this side. Now obviously there's the hot shoe. There's a little built-in flash gun there, folks. It just pops up there. And that's it for this side of the, uh, or the top of the camera. One other thing I want to point out while we're looking at the top of the camera, this little thing here, that's a lens lock. So although you can turn the camera on, it doesn't actually come on, if you like, folks. What you have to do is slide that there forward. I don't know, I will try and show you, but what you have to do is slide this forward and then that unlocks the lens. So, and then the lens is now locked. And to sort of 
completely turn the camera off if you like guys you just slide that forward and the lens is locked don't really know why they got that feature on the lens it just seemed a bit odd but so they said Canon seemed to go uh, away in their own way so that's really the top of the camera folks what we do now is we're going to flick it around so we can have a look at the actual back of the camera so folks here we are at the back of the camera not very exciting as we can tell so self-explanatory that's the menu button that pops you into the the menu there's another input dial here it's it's like a, a joystick here for like a little toggle wheel if you like and that can do certain things when you're in the menu and in the, the setup uh, because it's a mirrorless camera this is actually an electronic viewfinder now one of the things this camera excels in I don't know if I can really do it easily but it has a fully articulating whoop, flip screen so let's move it into shot so there you go guys that's a fully articulating screen which you can do all this sort of thing with which is great if you're vlogging and the other great thing it's also touch activated so that's really the back of the camera guys so we're just going to shut that down so you can take a look at either side and the bottom and then that's just the the overview finish guys so guys on the right hand side of the camera uh, under this flap here I can hold it open there you see that's your micro HDMI socket and there's your USB socket there quite a nice little tight fit and flap there guys so folks on the left hand side of the camera we have the all important mic socket under this little uh, flap which is a bit of a fiddle to pop open actually guys as you can see you need long nails for that but we will pop it open so there you go guys that all important mic socket again nice and neat sort of a uh, fitting flap on there right so what we do is just flick it over and have a look at the bottom now the bottom is pretty unexciting tripod socket there and there's your battery and uh, SD card under there and pop that open just so you can have a look so there's your SD card and your battery there right so just from the, the front of the camera guys so uh, nothing uh, pretty exciting there lens release there and that's really all there is on the front now what I will say guys this camera is aimed at the the more budget market so uh, yeah, it does feel a little bit plasticky but uh, it's a great little camera so what I do guys I'm just going to take a look at the other lens just so you can have a look at the other lens we've got so uh, if you bear with me folks so guys there's the other lens so the 55 to 200 f 4.5 to 6.3 again it's not a it's not a brilliant lens it's, it's you know quite plasticky uh, you can see there it's got a, the whole sort of lens mount here lens throat there is plastic but you know it it's does the job basically so there you go guys that's the um, Canon EOS M50 twin lens kit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and explain to you and uh, show you why I particularly bought this camera as all my other photographic gear is Nikon and I actually have a Sony AX53 camcorder which I'm actually filming on this now so uh, just bear with me a minute folks we'll uh, explain to you why I bought this camera so guys why did I buy the Canon M50 well let me try and explain I've been looking for a camera that I can use for days out for holidays if you like a travel camera something that can be easily carried and uh, shoot excellent video and uh, take excellent photographs now my main interest is is photography and has been so for many years um, I have several Nikon Pro bodies and uh, more Nikon Pro lenses than I can carry now my only Nikon camera I got at the moment that uh, can shoot video and photographs is this baby down here which is my Nikon D810 well as you can see folks has a bigger of a big old beastie so what we have here is this a D810 folks that is the 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens with the battery grip on the bottom 
So you see that. Now I know the battery grip on the bottom will come off, um, but reduce the bulk and the weight, but not by a massive amount. But as you can see, this sort of set weighs about about five pounds. It is very heavy, whereas that little cannon, I think it's about under a pound, I think, folks. But as you can imagine, trying to hold that at arm's length is uh, not going to happen, is it? So uh, I wanted something that I could take on holiday and uh, just for days out. So the Canon is the ideal buy for that. It's very lightweight and easy to use, whereas the Nikon takes great stills, it's great video. Uh, ideal if you want to use it on a tripod, but as a run and gun sort of camera, it's uh, not the ideal. Uh, certainly for video anyway. Um, I also got a, a Sony AX53 camcorder, which I'm actually filming with now. Brilliant video, but actually takes very poor stills. So what I was doing was actually taking a camera and a, a camcorder out for days out on holiday. So I had to take, make sure the batteries were charged up. And certainly on holiday, you'd have to take two charges, etc, etc, etc. So I was basically looking for something that could be used to do both so uh, that's where the Canon uh, M50 come in guys as you can see the difference in size between the Canon M50 and this little baby here it's a lot of difference isn't it folks so uh, that's why I bought this so uh, let's put that down there folks just a minute so hopefully I sort of briefly explained uh, why I bought the camera. Now uh, it came with a twin lens uh, kit so uh, if you just bear with me folks I'm going to show you uh, compare with the if I'm doing a qu equivalent of uh, my equipment there so uh, if you just bear with me folks. So guys this is the little Canon 55 to 200 mil lens it's f4.5 to 6.3 nice little lens and this one oh, that is my Nikon equivalent. That is the 70 to 200. So if you can actually see, that's about the equivalent, I suppose, of what I got. This weighs next to nothing. This again is about two pounds. It's a heavy bit of kit. So as you can imagine, folks, lugging that lot around is a bit of hard work. And uh, my wife Karen used to complain a lot of carrying that around. Not really, folks. I didn't make her carry it. So, uh, so briefly, I suppose the idea was that, as I said, I wanted a, a travel camera. If I go out with the specific um, purpose of taking photographs, then obviously I'm going to take the, the Nikon and uh, sort of use that. And if I'm going to take video, obviously I'm going to take the uh, camcorder. But the main purpose of the Canon was for when I'm on holiday, because I don't want to carry all that equipment uh, that you know the camcorder got here and the, and the Nikon um, and then have to take two chargers what's the cat up to behind can you see the cat what are you doing Odin that's by the way that's Odin or Bengal come to I think he's after oh, he's after biscuits yeah thinking of his belly anyway folks try to ignore him or block him out <laughs> try to ignore him anyway folks so uh, that's why I bought the camera um, it's an excellent camera, the little Canon. Now I've taken a, a few test videos and a few test photographs and so far it's, it's actually performed brilliantly. Now the problem is uh, I've sort of most of my camera or all my camera gear is Nick on the, the, the Canon is a little bit of a, a learning curve so uh, still, I'm still finding out about it but uh, hopefully as time goes on I shall find my way around it. So there you go guys, that's why I bought the little Canon. Um, hopefully I can go out and uh, do some vlogging and some filming with it so uh, that's the next plan is so hopefully in the next up and coming video which will be very shortly uh, we're gonna have a little day trip out somewhere and uh, put the Canon M50 through its paces so until then thanks for watching I'm gonna catch you all again soon bye bye for now